Many tower climbers find themselves working longer hours as carriers bring LTE to more markets. Seven tower climbers have died from workplace-related injuries in the U.S. this year, according to Wireless Estimator. That's up from just one last year. The National Association of Tower Erectors says contractors need to push back when deadlines are too tight. The group also has a safety checklist for anyone considering a job with a contractor working on tower construction. It says every contractor should carry insurance, should have a site-specific safety plan, and should conduct daily safety checks at the job site. Nate also says that every contractor and subcontractor could, should conduct physical fitness and agility tests on every worker and should offer adequate training in fall protection and rescue. That's your Mobile Minute for this Monday. Keep an eye on rcrwireless.com for all the latest mobile news and keep an eye on towercruise.net for the latest tower crew job openings.